last things on this and this is generally just a couple more hints and tips and tweaks just to make your spreadsheet even more easy to use um, or foolproof if you will you'll notice that when I scroll my header row disappears now I always find that really annoying um, basically because if I've got a full sheet of lots and lots of people I'm analyzing a full year group I, sometimes I can't remember what my, my titles are so what I'm going to do is I'd like to keep pupil, forename, surname, class and teacher static. So if I had to scroll across, the rest of the data would scroll in. I'd also like to keep the header row static. So I'm going to find the, the join between the two, which is here. And I think it's in review in the new one. Actually, no, it's in view. And I'm going to use freeze panes there. Now, if I scroll up and down, my header row stays the same. And if I scroll across, if for example I had more columns than I could see, the pupil name and, and class and teacher stay the same. So that I don't have to keep scrolling backwards and forwards to look for them. I always find that a really nice and useful skill to have. Um, the other thing now that you've spent ages setting up your lovely formulas is you don't really want people typing over them so we're going to learn how to protect the workbook but leave things like the gray the test score open for people to fill in so to protect the workbook or to protect all the cells first of all I'm going to select the whole spreadsheet right click and go to format cells in protection I'm going to choose locked click OK now all I'm going to do the test score is the only column that I want people to be able to type in. I'm going to highlight that, right click and go back to format cells and choose and untick the locked box. Now that will make no difference at the moment. Absolutely no difference. You can still double click and overwrite a formula by accident until you go to review protect sheet. It'll ask you if you want to put a password in. I usually don't because if you forget it, there's no one that's unlocking this and you can't make changes to it. Click OK. So now I can change the test score. I can type over that if I want to. And so on. But I can't change any of my grade formulas because it's protected. To undo that, go back to review and click Unprotect Sheet. If you have decided to put a password on, this is where it'll ask you for it. So just a couple of little tips just to help make your spreadsheet a bit more easy to use, a bit more functional. Go and have a go.